Some not so fun news, so I want to get into some discussion pieces here. It's about Britney Spears. Not the funnest thing to hear because everyone can't leave Britney alone. We've talked about this multiple times. Like, leave Britney alone! But Britney Spears is back in the news because I think it was like last week she did a video where she had a knife, which I don't know if you saw it. She was like dancing with a knife, and everyone was like, is she going to be okay? What's she doing with this knife? Britney shouldn't have this knife. What do it was two knives. Let's be, so, yeah, let's it, be was, it was two knives. I, we have pictures, but I'm like, people are going out. So then she posted another video where her finger is all bandaged up now. And she's dancing, and people are like, did she cut herself with a knife? Did someone have to save Britney? So this is how the run internet goes nuts sometimes. And for me, I'm like, leave Britney alone. But it is kind of weird that her finger's cut. This happened, and she took the video right down to her 4.2 million subscribers. Took it right down. But it made headlines over the news about these knives. And this, you know, for me, I'm just like, I can't believe, like, here's a picture of, like, what she's been doing. Like, like you know, here's a picture of her in the, in the finger. Like, she's posted it, but then she's dressing like this, too. But Britney's, like, going through a phase. Maybe she's, like, a Michael Jackson thing. You know, Michael Michael Jackson was trying to be a kid. I don't know. You go through being a child entertainer. It's got to be tough on you. It's got to wear on you. And, you know, she's gone through so much. I mean, I think she's just freaking out right now and having a good time and not caring. I, I don't know. What do you think, Sabrina? Do you think that this is a call for we should help her out? Or do you think that it's just her being like, fuck you guys. I'm having a good time. I mean, she's been doing these dancing Instagram videos for ages. Like, that's her thing. Um, and so I don't really, that's just because she was holding two knives. I don't find that. I mean, you know, she's on her stripper pole or dancing in her kitchen. I mean, I, what concerned me the most about the picture with, the, with that picture was that clearly her cleaning lady has not been around in a long time because there's crap all over the floor and her couch cushions are fucked up. I feel like she just needs to get her cleaning lady in there, do a light clean before she does her next video. And everything's going to be fine. Okay. I have zero problems with what she's doing. She, this is what, this is where she, her, her stupid money grubbing, like asshole gold digger husband is like now getting out of the picture and she's just doing her like, leave her alone. Fuck. Leave her alone. Just leave her alone. Leave Britney alone, everybody. She does always look, though, like she has just got out of bed and maybe has mascara on from last night. Like, <laughs> her hair is always a mess. Crying, crying all night. Crying all night. <laughs> She could be crying. You're right. You're right, Ron. She's, but you know what? I, if this is what she makes her happy, I don't, I don't care. And she was. She said they were fake knives. Just so I wanted to mention that also. She said that they weren't real. Yeah. Um. When she, whatever the caption was, which she posted. So. Yeah, she said they were fake knives. She probably knew it was going to be a shitstorm of of people I talking. Have a shit ton of fake knives around my house. <laughs> hey, you weren't on set. You don't have any prop knives. I'm sure we have prop yeah, knives around you knives? somewhere. <laughs> right. Ron, Ron, do you can you believe this like tension though on Britney Spears? Like people just won't Truth. won't leave her alone. Do you think that it's just because of how like she was in the spotlight for so long that people like feel like they you know they know her and they're worried about her that way, or do you think it's just people I, trying to control I her life? I think it's that classic thing, like you just said. People have been so close to her life in the good and the bad that they feel like they know her. And yep. um, I think a lot of people overstep their bounds. I I am mm -hmm. concerned about her mm -hmm. mentally things because things are just off and it's scary. And that that's where my concern goes. Um, but I do think people think that they just they know her too well that they can uh, say what they want to say about her. And I don't think that that's right. Correct. Yeah, it's it's just, it's just sad that that you know because you you get into this business. And you think you're there to have fun, you're there to entertain, you're there to just yeah. like, you know, put a good thing out there and like help people be entertained. And then everyone just attacks because of social media, because of the way people just like want to control them now. They feel like they're closer. I mean, it used to be movie stars. You didn't even know who they were. It's just like they're a movie star. They're like this person that's out there. Right. But now they've gotten almost too close. Don't you think, Ron? Like people are just too close yeah. with social media sometimes. Like a lot of times she's like, oh, this is my happy place. Or like, you know, she always says like, you know, whatever little thing she's feeling that day. Um, you know, and it's like uh, for someone who doesn't know you to say what you need or how you feel or what you're going through is never appropriate, you know. Um, but, she, you know, she also I think someone I think Chris might have said somewhere in the chat that she's doing it on purpose. Maybe, she, you know, because like, you know, she was under that conservatorship for a long time and like she has this, the, the, you know, the divorce thing that's going on and he's trying to get. Um, you know, alimony from her, even though they had a prenup and like this whole thing. So, you know, I, I think there's also a strong possibility that she could just be like, fuck y'all. I'm gonna do what I want. I'm gonna do me. No one can tell me what to fucking do anymore. Um, I just, I just think if that's how she wants to express herself, good for her. Fuck. Yeah. Leave her alone for real. Yeah. Leave Brittany alone. But it's just, it's just sad that people get put in these, these pedestals and then all of a sudden everyone wants, wants to interfere in their lives. Cause you know, we live separate lives outside of set. We really Good do. Question. What is she doing on a concert? Know. I don't, I don't know. She did, that, she did that residency in Vegas for like a really yeah. long time. And so I think she's just kind of taking a minute. Cause that, that was a lot. Yeah. That was, that was a lot for her. Um, 
So I, maybe she's maybe she's taking a minute. I'm not 100 percent sure. Yeah. Yeah. Ron, would you go see her in concert? Have you seen her before? Absolutely. I've never seen her. I would love to. <laughs> oh, I would see her too. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I think she'd do a great let's job. Go, she, let's go. Uh, for sure. Hey, let's all go. Here, Who's I'm in. Going to see everybody. Bring your friends. Let's go. <laughs>